Pisces, welcome to your end of April 2021 general tarot update. It's Raina here. So uh, I'm using my other can my other phone to record this. So I don't know how to do a panoramic shot. So it might be too tight, and some of the cards won't be on here. Hey, it's the story of my life. If you know anything about my readings, I don't have that. Uh, that type of tripod that uh, is overarching, whatever you want to call it. I didn't even know they existed until I thought about it in my mind's eye. I was like, how do these people do those shots where they're overhead? And then it just occurred to me that there might actually be a device that does that. Funny how that happens. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to, let me just see what happens here. Oh, a lot of pentacles. I've been getting uh, readings with a lot of pentacles in them. And I, you know, I assume when it happens over and over again, that money matters are, you know, kind of front and center in people's lives, which makes a lot of sense for multiple reasons. Um, and I think even one of them, if people want to travel after they've been, you know, cooped up so long, they may be kind of like crunching the numbers for that as well. Um, that could always be. Anyway, the heart of the matter is the uh, nine of pentacles. And by the way, this camera is not really, I don't think this uh, on my phone is really, is not superior. Um, it's not really good for uh, this kind of thing, but so please bear with me. Um, and the nine of pentacles is really a great money card in the sense to like, make you understand that you are uh, somebody who has a lot of that um, financial independence. Now, no, I mean, it, it could be that that's what you're, that you want in your life. So maybe um, you feel that you, that that's something that would get you where you want to be, because I'm looking at the, the past position card and it is the star card and the star card uh, connects with the sign of Aquarius. And um, maybe that's why uh, I think of wishing upon a star because Aquarius connects with the house that relates to hopes and wishes. And so really when I think of this card, this is a card of healing. And so what it can represent for some people is if they have gone through a difficult time Pisces, if you have gone through a difficult time, you're starting to heal again. You're starting to believe in life, the good things in life. You know how you can get really cynical when you get screwed over or something like that, betrayed, whatever you, know, whatever you want to call it. Um, you, you start to heal. You know, there's a little bit of distance from that terrible situation. And then it starts to open your heart again. And you feel the sense of being able to um, to heal and and um, have a better uh, appreciation for life and trust. I think maybe it's trust. Maybe trusting that the universe is working on your behalf instead of feeling like you know the world is against you, which can certainly happen. I think it's human for people to feel that way if they've had a run of negative experiences. So um, maybe this is an actual Aquarius person who has helped you financially. Um, I would say, though, more likely that um, you're following a dream. And I think that when we follow our dreams, they take us to beautiful places. But when I say dream, I don't mean a fantasy. I have to always, you know, when I say dream, I have to, to emphasize that for Pisces people. I don't mean like some kind of like a fantasy world that you might be inhabiting where everything is perfect. I'm talking about more of like a goal, more something more practical and grounded, but something that you really have wanted to do, you know, in your heart of hearts. And, um, yeah. 
Maybe the, the, you know, getting your finances sorted out can be what is keeping you from it 100%. Um, the higher message is a two of wands. This is about um, maybe even deciding where you want to live. But this is the higher message. So I'm reading this more from a spiritual perspective. What I would say, you see the other person's hand on, on the other wand. Um, is kind of like almost contradictory. Like if you have something that you want to do and yet you have a dilemma, like in order for me to do this, I have to move. But then I'm going to have to take my child out of school and I don't want to do that. Or maybe you're putting people first so much that you're not being able to accomplish your own goals. So I want you to look at it from both perspectives because um, they're both valid depending on your personal situation. I do think that sacrificing for a child's well-being is a noble gesture, but sometimes you may misinterpret what is good for your child. Maybe, you, maybe you're imposing your own feelings onto that child. Maybe your child would love an adventure if you're, if you have an opportunity to travel, if a job is providing you this, um, opportunity to expand your horizons. Maybe that is something. Now this could be like change in career. If you are too concerned about other people's opinions on what you are doing for your career, then you have to look at that. Because you're not in middle school anymore. And so other people's opinions of you are not important. Um, they're not living your life. You are. So are you, you know, allowing somebody else to interfere with your uh, goals? And, and what is their reason for interfering? Are they re really doing something good for you or are they being selfish because they want something you know they want you to stay the same or to be physically there for them what crosses you is the ace of swords um this is the story of pisces life um because the ace of swords if i read it like in its um positive interpretation it would be um somebody who has mental clarity, who is seeing things as they are. A lot of Pisces people will also have Mercury in Pisces and they're going to be very um, rose-colored gla glasses-esque. You know, they're going to be very like, uh, everything is, you know, when I see those t-shirts that says good vibes only, I mean, of course, who wants to introduce bad, bad vibes into to their life? But, you know, it's all about... It's all about reaction too. Like, you know, how do you see certain things? Do you feel like, oh, that's bad, that's bad. Something may, you know, there's contrast in this in this reality. You know, we do have duality. And I think Pisces can can get that because you're similar to fish. Now they are swimming in opposite directions, so uh, you know, there's that as well. But but the ace of swords in the challenge position is how do you Look at situations in a way that is realistic and without lying to yourself, without gilding the lily, making things seem um, more whatever than they are, more positive than they are. Maybe you're in a situation where you need to make a decision, where you need to change careers, or you you need, like your soul needs it, you're... you're your conscious mind may be resisting it, but your soul needs it. Um, or your, when I say your soul, I'm not talking about even like that emotional part of yourself. I'm talking about your expanding your territory in life. And what does that mean for you? And, um, and being able to see things as they are without being uncomfortable with the negative emotions that might arise, the, the confusion, the fear, um, even the resentment of other people who are trying to impose their will on you, being able 
to to still be be strong and and, and brave and see the situation um, honestly. Last two cards are pen pentacles, uh, so maybe taking practical steps and doing practical things. Eight of pentacles, um, perfecting your craft, maybe getting training, doing a good job, you know, not slacking off, not mailing it in. So if you're like, you know, in the process of transitioning to another career, um, Sometimes people say, you know what, I'm going to quit this job anyway. I'm just going to mail it in. I'm going to come in late. No, you're not doing that because you want, you're, you're striving for excellence, which is really a great vibration. Even if you're, you, you, you're going to change what you're doing, it's always good to do things in a thorough manner. I mean, that just makes good common sense and, um, and just shows good character too, you know. The outcome is the three of pentacles, and this is a job well done. So maybe there is something like temporary that is part of what is going on here that you are dealing with. And when you get it all sorted out, you'll be able to um, move on with a sense of feeling like you accomplished so something that you wanted to, and then you can you know, move on to your next adventure. Maybe it's just like a temporary situation at work. I'm not sure, but hopefully it resonated with you. Uh, thank you for watching, Pisces. I appreciate it. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm promoting my double readings because they're a great value financially and you get more in-depth, like an in-depth um, natal chart, you know, just more time. Uh, natal chart and transits, double reading, the deep dive for special price and um, the combination natal and tarot reading called the whole enchilada, also for a special price. And these are full length readings that are just combined in one package. That's all. And I have other readings too. And all of that is available at the link below rainandmoonastrology.com. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.